Welcome. Could call it Polly's two minute Tuesday rig video, but welcome. And I'm gonna show you how I make my bulk squat and pinky rig. The float I'm using is one of my MP Roach carbon stem, 0.5 of a gram. Now obviously, the conditions you're using it, if it's flowing harder, but normal conditions, most of my fin fishing, it would be 0.5, to a gram maximum, but I'm going to show you on a 0.5 MP Roach. Now I've left, which I know Alex here at Tackle and Bates has copied this from me. Mm -hmm. But when you spangle a rig, cut the line above it, leave three or four inches and below. I've got 012 power micron, and I'm simply, this is just if I'm making a rig at home. I'll take the spangled rig out of my box with the line either side, and if I just attach that line to the existing line that I've left on the rig, like so, let's just because they want the same level, pass that through, pull that, then I've knotted the two lines together. And then simply hold the bottom and I pull the flow onto the new spooler power micro I'm going to tie the new rig, and I haven't had to take all the rubbers off, thread them back on the line, thread the float first, thread the rubbers on, it's all done. I just cut the end there, pull the float on a little bit more, and now I'm going to do a loop. I won't put a hook, I don't put a hook on any of my rigs till I come to use them. And the loop that I'm tying at the end is a figure of eight loop. It's much stronger than a normal overhand loop. And I simply, before I pass the loop through the loop I'm pinched between my fingers, I turn it and twist it. Then I put the loop of line through the main line itself, and it's a figure of eight I'm pulling in, I pull it up, and that sort of folds round the line rather than cutting through it on an overhand loop. And that is much stronger than just a standard loop. I've cut the line off neat to the knot, leaving about a mil. There I have it. What I would do then is if I want it three meters, that's probably two meters me because I'm small, but I'll just do it three times the width of my arms. Most of my rigs, are, it's three times the width of my arms and that's done. Then this end, I'll do a double loop. So I'll quickly do a double loop on the end there. Pass it through, I'm doing my figure eight again. Then another loop, so I've done two loops. Passed it through. The little tag, just because I'm a little bit OCD, I'll cut and leave probably half inch long. But I always cut the top loop, the first loop. Because if you leave it as a loop, sometimes it can go over your pole tip and you think, oh, what? It's all caught up, no elastic's coming out. It's because the loop has gone over. So if you cut it, you've only got one loop when you attach it to your connector at the end of your pole. So I've got my length of line for my rig with my float attached. Obviously, I won't put no hook length on. And my bulk on most of the drains, it's normally a four inch hook length. And then my first shot, which goes on the knot, of the loop that I attached the hook to is a number 11 stop. So I'll put that on the line and this is where Polly's class is coming to play because the light's pretty poor when you're inside. It's best to make rigs. I try and make them outside the house in the daylight because it's a lot easier to put the stops on the line. And I use stops rather than shot because it gives a slower fall through the water, where they're not rounded, they're flat, and they fall slower, especially on my through the water rigs, where this is a bolt rig. It becomes much, much slower fall, and gives a better presentation with your uh, loose feed. So, I'll put that one on there. Mm -hmm. So I'll put on one number 11 stop on the knot just above the hook. Another one. 
three inches from there. And then one more, three inches from there, roughly in three inches, I've got a bulk of number 10s. The six or seven number 10s that will weight the MP Roach half a gram. Now that's the rig, that's it done. I'll put that on a winder. So I'll show you in a minute and wind it up. But then when I get to the venue, I'll attach the hook length on there. I'll plumb up and then I can cut my line to suit the style of fishing I'm using it for or the swim that I'm on. And if they're made up like that, it's very simple. Get the winder. I love these matrix winders because you don't have to muck around with the pole anchor, you can just wind them on. And I come round to my loop at the end because I've cut the top loop. And I know there's enough line on there. That'll finish and I'll clip it onto there. And there we have it done. And all I have to do is just write on the side there with a little indelible pen. I'll put 012 mil with a dash because I haven't put the hook length on. And then when I come to the venue lot and fishing, I'll write what hook length's on there when I pull it away. Job done. And there is my two minute Tuesday bulk rig for squat or pinky fishing.